Welcome to our ADM Lucid automation testing channel. We'll have a series of talk about Selenium automation testing, which will help you understand the basics of Selenium and also guide you to build your own Selenium automation project. You may access our test project and guide in the description below. Feel free to subscribe to our channel for any new videos or updates. In today's video, we will talk about Selenium automation testing with cookies. So, automated testing of web applications with Selenium often involves interactions with cookies, which are small pieces of data stored in the user's web browser. Cookies are commonly used for various purposes, including session management, user authentication, and tracking user behavior. In Selenium, you can interact with cookies using the web driver's built-in methods. Here's how you can work with cookies in Selenium automation testing. So first, accessing cookies. To access cookies, you can use the getCookies method provided by the web driver. This method returns a set of cookies objects. Next, adding cookies. You can add cookies to the browser session using the addCookie method. This is useful for setting up specific scenarios such as logging in as a user with a particular session. Next is deleting cookies. To delete cookies, you can use the delete cookie method. You can delete a specific cookie by specifying its name, or you can delete all cookies. Next is getting a specific cookie. You can retrieve a specific cookie by its name using the get cookie named method. And finally, um, there is verifying cookie attributes. You can also check the attributes of a cookie such as its name, value, domain, path, and expiration date. Next, I will show you the code implementation of how to work with cookies in Selenium Java. So first, right here, we have a controller class called cookies. And in this class, I'm going to direct your attention to this first, uh, first method called add cookie. And in this method, uh, I'm just going to walk through what we do. So the goal of this method is to add cookies into your browser. So we can look and we see that first, right here, we create two cookies. We do um, a cookie that has the name test2 and a, a, and a cookie that has the name test1, both with the values uh, with cookie2 and cookie1. And basically, this creates the two cookies. Next, we do um, driver manager.getCookies, and we set it equal to this array, and these are basically a set of cookies that we get. Um, and this set of cookies not only includes the two cookies that we made earlier, but also includes all the cookies that we had on this website, admlucid.com-golf. After that, we can look at some stuff regarding the cookies. For example, here we can get the cookies name for test2. So we can look at the cookie named test2. And so this is the add cookie method. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to our test class here and I'm just going to run this one method. So I'll call this add cookie. And so we made it so that after it finishes running, it doesn't close the browser. Uh, the reason we did this is because we want to show you something. I want to go here, I want to go to settings, or uh, actually I want to go to more tools, and then I'm going to go to developer tools. I'm going to click on network, and right now there's nothing here. So all you have to do is you just have to refresh, and everything will show up. I'm going to click golf one time, and I'm going to scroll down to cookies. And right here we have cookies. And we see that it has all these cookies that are native to the website that we have, admlucid.golf, uh, but we also have the two cookies that we added through our Selenium code. So test2 is equal to cookie2, and test1 is equal to cookie1. So that just shows that the method worked, and um, I just want to show you that we also have all our, um, our runs so that it exports a file here. And right here we have the, the output from our runs. So we see that we created the two cookies um, and both of them uh, were created successfully and we were able to retrieve all the cookies. So I'm gonna go ahead and close this X10 report here. And this time I'm gonna move our attention to the next method in our class. So the next method in our class is delete cookie. 
And the goal of this method, as the name implies, is we want to delete cookies. So in this class, what we first do is we add two cookies into our web page, as well as we get all the cookies from admlucid.com. So this is the home page. And we see here we're getting all the cookies. And then I want to show you right here, we use dot delete all cookies. And this deletes all the cookies. So I'm just going to show you how this works. So I'm going to go down back to our test class. I'm going to uncomment this. And I'm going to go ahead and run. And like last time, I'm going to go to more tools, developer tools, network, and I'm going to refresh the page. Click ADM Lucid, and we're going to scroll all the way down. And this time, we see that we can't even find a row for cookies. And the reason that is, is because we used the method delete all cookies. So this just verifies that what we did worked correctly. And we can further verify it by going to the extent report, opening it up, and we see that we created the two cookies and then we deleted all the cookies afterwards. Now, finally, I want to direct your attention to the final method. So we'll go ahead and comment this out first. Go back to cookies here. And the final method is called verify cookie attribute. And basically what this does is we want to verify the different attributes of the cookie, like the name implies. So again, right here, um, we are going to this website and we added a cookie called test2, cookie2, and then we grab um, the attributes for this specific cookie that we created. And we see right here, we are grabbing each value. So we can grab its name, its value, its domain, its path, its expiry, and we can test uh, to see if that cookie's properties is what we expect it to be. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and uncomment in the test class this, and I'm going to run this again. And this time, we're not going to be using developer tools, so we just made it so the browser closes automatically. And uh, we can go all the way down here. Or actually, we can just go to the extent report and we can see that we were able to grab all these different values for the cookie. So it's expiry, it's path, it's domain, it's value, and it's name. And basically, uh, with these basic functions regarding cookies, you're able to work with cookies in your own Selenium code for whatever purpose you want to use it for. So I hope this video was a little helpful in introducing some of the basic functions and methods that we can use to deal with cookies. If you enjoyed the video and you found it helpful, please give this video a like and subscribe to our channel and, we, uh, and stay tuned to any new videos that we'll be posting. Thank you.